Hello and welcome to the 10th video lecture of Principles of Marketing, Semester 1, Model Number 1. In today's video lecture, we are going to discuss about the marketing environment. In a previous video lecture, we had seen an introduction to marketing environment. In today's video lecture, we shall see what is the micro environment. So just like we discussed in a previous video lecture, what is micro environment? Micro environment as per Dr. Philip Kotler, it refers to the forces or actors affecting a company's ability to serve or transact with its customers. So what are its constituents? So what are the factors that affect the customer's ability to serve its customers? Uh, so, sorry, the what are the factors that affect the company's ability to serve its customers? They are company itself, that is the factors within the company. The second one is suppliers, then we have intermediaries, then customers, competitors and publics. So these are the uh, six main factors that affect a company's ability to transact with its customers. Let us see this one by one. So the first one is company. Now, in a company, we may see that there are many departments. Whenever designing marketing strategies or putting out a marketing plan, a company must take into consideration all its company's divisions or departments into accounts. The various departments like the HR department, that is the human resource department, the finance department, the production department, the research and development department, the purchasing department all these departments should be interlinked and more importantly opinions and thoughts should be taken about uh, from these departments about the marketing plan and how to devise the marketing plan so all these suggestions got from these departments should be clubbed together and considered while devising a marketing plan all of these interrelated groups or divisions within a company form the internal environment. All the departments should work together harmoniously to provide superior customer value and satisfaction and develop lifelong relationships with the customers. The second one is suppliers. Now who are our suppliers? Suppliers are organizations or business units uh, or it may be individuals also who provide the organization with raw materials then they may also provide us with spare parts components supplies or services required to produce products that we sell to our customers suppliers form an important link in the customer value chain in fact if there are any problems with the suppliers for example, if there is a lockdown in with the suppliers factory or if there is, a, suppose, the quality of the raw materials that have been supplied by the suppliers to our, our company is not good or if there is something like strikes or maybe uh, some other problems with the suppliers that is delays in supplying of raw material, then this may result in certain delays or certain dissatisfaction with our customers. Our customers will definitely feel the impact of their suppliers, that is the uh, impact of these changes which suppliers have with them. So any changes in the suppliers, that is any changes or any problems that the suppliers have will directly affect or maybe sometimes indirectly affect our customers. The third one yeah, or the third thing to consider in micro environment are intermediaries. Many organizations rely on marketing intermediaries to ensure that their products reach the final consumer. Marketing intermediaries help the company to promote, sell and distribute its products to the final buyers. Some organizations supply directly to the retailer while others use a complex chain of marketing uh, channels. 
like for example they may come from the wholesalers that is the producer might sell it to the wholesalers the wholesaler might sell it to the uh, retailer and then the retailer might sell it to the customer marketers recognize the importance of working with the intermediaries as partners rather than simply as channels or employees it must partner effectively with marketing intermediaries to optimize the customer value and optimize the customer satisfaction that we are giving them marketing intermediaries are in fact very important when we consider the availability of the products near to the customer customers generally prefer products that are good in quality and also easily available so that is why marketing intermediaries play a very important role in this scenario the next important thing to consider is competitors now who are our competitors competitors are those companies or those business units or organizations which are trying to get the same customers or the same market segment as we are trying the marketing concept states that to be successful an organization must provide greater customer value what you are providing to your customer should be of greater value to the customers and it should provide greater satisfaction to the customers compared to what your competitors are providing marketers must gain strategic advantage by positioning their offerings strongly against competitors offerings in the minds of the customers then uh, when we are talking about customers who are our, who are our customers as we have discussed in earlier also customers are those people who purchase our products or services from us they are very important because in commercial scenario uh, thinking if we see no customers means no profit no profit means no company so in such a scenario our customers are actually the king when we, it comes to marketing we have to constantly look after the customers what are their changing needs and based upon their changing needs we have to change ourselves or adopt adapt our policies marketing uh, programs or maybe our product itself we have seen many companies which have failed who have failed to recognize the changing market uh, needs of the customers in a previous uh, video i had given you an example of nokia which failed to recognize the changing uh, environment technological environment and it failed why because uh, it failed because they it failed to recognize that customers wanted smartphones they wanted dual sim phones and nokia was hell bent in pro providing touch pad sorry uh, touch uh, pad that is dial pad phones and single sim phones and that is the reason why from the indian market and as well as the global market it was wiped out mainly by its main competitor at that time that is samsung so we have to recognize and we have to understand what are the customers needs and these needs keep on changing over time the purchasing behavior of the customers also keep on changing over time and lastly uh, the other last part of uh, micro environment is publics now what are publics are the publics means organizations micro environment that includes various groups or units uh, put together known as publics these publics may be of different forms or different types the first one what we will be discussing in short is the financial publics or financial institutions why these financial institutions will be having a uh, interest in your organization is because they might have given you credit or loan for instance banks or investment houses they influence the customer companies ability to obtain funds or loans from the market then we have secondly media publics media refers to television radio newspaper these carry news features articles and advertisements which are part of marketing then we have government publics these include the various government agencies 
which are there which will try to enforce its uh, laws and look that all the companies are working as per the laws management must uh, take government developments into account that is one very important thing which uh, any management should try and all the marketing department should comply by the rules that are existing in the market uh, then comes citizen action publics uh, a company's marketing decision may be questioned by consumer organizations environmental groups and many other such groups these groups uh, like for example ngos they may come sometimes and they may demonstrate uh, they may ask us to uh, take away certain products which they feel are uh, something which is not suitable for the society so if such kind of a thing happens then we have to uh, look for certain options which will minimize our damages then comes the local publics local publics are the neighborhood uh, residents within your company premises that is where you are set your manufacturing or retailing outlet or where you are marketing your company the neighborhood of that means surrounding nearby area which is there so nearby area which is there all the people who are residing in those areas or locality come under local publics they may have faced certain problems because of you uh, because of your company and then they may come and ask you to change certain things for example in this covid scenario we have seen multiple occasions in our city itself belgaum where neighborhood locality people opposed bringing covid patients in the hospitals why because this hospital certain hospitals were located in residential areas we have seen this kind of scenario happening in recent times so this is how we have the, the local publics will affect our marketing many times and then comes internal publics what are these internal publics internal publics are basically uh, our workers employees managers volunteers agents and board of directors of the company they are within the company they are not outside the company and hence they are known to be internal publics and with this uh we end today's lecture i hope you have understood today's lecture uh we taught uh, we learned about micro environment today micro environment comes of a company consists of these six things that is company suppliers intermediaries customers competitors and publics company consists of various departments we have seen that all the departments should work together when devising a marketing plan suppliers are basically those people who supply us raw uh, raw materials not only raw materials those things which we use to produ produce our products that also and spare parts assembly parts all those people who supply us these are in, uh, known as suppliers and they are important because if there is some problem with the suppliers it results in lesser satisfaction in uh, with our customers then intermediaries are those channel members like wholesalers retailers then uh, the customers so they help in making the product available to the customers so it is the chain intermediaries means the distribution channel through which the distribution of products happens from the factory to the customer then comes the customers customers are those uh, people who actually purchase products and services from us uh, we have to continuously look at the consumer behavior their buying pattern and their changing needs and try to cater them because ultimately we are trying to satisfy our customers and this needs will be constantly changing then comes competitors competitors are those people who are trying to look or the, who are trying to sell or market their products or services to that same uh, segment of the market which even we are trying to sell so these are competitors competitors policies decisions will definitely affect our marketing suppose if our competitor reduces price then we may be forced to reduce our price in order to keep our market share intact that will definitely affect our uh, marketing decisions so if competitor changes any of its four p's it will affect us what are these four p's we are seeing later on product price place promotion that is and then uh, comes publics publics include various organizations units group of peoples who uh, directly or indirectly affect the marketing decisions they may include financial publics media publics government publics citizen action publics 
local publics or it may be internal publics so this is about micro environment if there is any doubt still with your with you you can always contact us with this we end today's lecture